Hello, welcome. My name's Susie, and today we're gonna open another Stitch Fix. So Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription. It comes kind of as often or as infrequently as you would like it to. You can set up to do it like bi-monthly, every month, as needed, quarterly, like whatever you wanna do. And you just are gonna put down a $20 styling fee, which is kind of like a deposit. So you send them their $20, they send you a box of five items, I believe, usually. So if you like any of the items and you want to keep them, that $20 acts as a credit towards whatever you're keeping. And if you keep everything in the box, you'll get, I think, a 25% discount. You fill out a styling quiz and then you have a stylist that's supposed to read that, acknowledge what you've put in there, and then send you things that they think you would like. You can also like have their app and you can go through the app every day and you can like thumb up or thumb down kind of like Tinder on clothes. So I do that every day and I don't usually get things that I ask for. And I've put feedback in the last few times, like very detailed feedback about what things I do and don't want to see, what brands I do and don't want to see. So I'm really, really hoping that this box has some really good stuff in it. We will see. When you open the box, you're gonna have a little bundle of things. They send you a mailer so you can send back whatever you don't want and it's pre-labeled and everything. So it's just good to go. You just drop it off at the post office or the UPS store, wherever you're gonna bring it. And then you get a little envelope and inside the envelope, you're always gonna get a letter that has like some pricing and a note from your stylist. And then they send these little cards that are like different ways that you can style the items that they've sent for you. It says, after reviewing your profile, I'm really going to try to focus on things that you've requested today. I'm going to send you some solids and florals and maybe something you can wear for Valentine's Day coming up. Okay, all right, because I really told them, I was like, listen, I like floral prints or solids. I don't want, you know, weird geometric or abstracty looking things. I don't want long sleeves. I don't ever want to see a jumpsuit ever again. So let's see what they've got. It says, I found this French gray floral knit dress and fell in love. It has a three quarter length sleeve. So let's see if what you think of that. How do you like it? I also found a solid beige Daniel rain top that has some lace. And I know that you said that you were looking for some lace. I do love lace. I'm kind of a sucker for lace. If it's got a lace detail, I'm probably gonna like it. So I really am hoping whatever that top is, is very cute. I thought it would be very cute paired with some Liverpool denim jeans. I can't wait to hear what you think of the items in today's fix, and I hope that you found something that you love. Bianca. Bianca is not the stylist I had last time. You can either stick with the stylist you've got, and you can tell them you want the same person, you can change people every time, or you can tell them that you don't care, it's up to the stylist. And I usually tell them I don't care who does it, so long as somebody reads my notes. So this girl sounds like she really read my notes, so I'm hoping. This box is going to have some good stuff in it. Let's pull the pricing guide out for while we're talking. And if I keep everything in this box, it'll cost me $187 because of the 25% discount and then the $20 styling fee that I've already, you know, sent to them. So the retail on these items is $276 all in together. So let's see what we got. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby. No. This is Nova Girl. She's nosy. She's always nosy. All right, if you're gonna stay, then you gotta sit and be a nice girl, because this is not dog food. This is not dog toys. This is clothing. And if I don't like it, I have to send it back to them, which means that you can't eat it. Okay? Deal? Awesome. Okay. The first item I've got here is I'm thinking that dress that she just told me about with the floral print. It's very soft, so, so, so soft. And it's kind of like a navy and it's got these like kinky kind of mustard and beige flowers on it. It has a three quarter length sleeve and it looks like it's probably about knee length and it has a cinched kind of waist, but there's not like a tie. So I guess it's just gonna be like stretchy. I am initially liking this. I like the print, I like the colors. I'm thinking maybe, we'll see. And this dress is called 
French gray Murphy brush knit dress and it's $50. That's really not bad. That's kind of like average. So the price is right. If I really, really like it, I'll hold on to it. It feels like it's going to be really comfortable though. The next item I'm pulling out of here, these must be the jeans she was talking about. Liverpool Elizabeth Super Skinny Jean in the color dark gray, $78. They don't have a zipper. They're like fake jeans. They're jeggings. That's what they are. They're jeggings. So they have like a stretchy waistband on the top and no zipper. Also no pockets. This is fake. There's no pockets involved here. Um, no distressing of any kind. Just a solid dark jean. Okay. $78 for skinny jeans. Could be okay, but I don't know if I would spend $78 on jeggings. Maybe they're really, really nice when I put them on. We'll find out. Next up we have, what are you? Oh, this must be Daniel Rain Scoop Neck, three quarter length in beige, $64. It's kind of like tunic-y. Oh, okay, these are the sleeves she was talking about. I don't know if you can really tell, but they have like a pretty lace detail on the sleeves. So it's pretty lightweight and it feels like it's really flowy. It feels like it's made out of leggings. Feels like leggings. It's very, very soft. It's pretty lightweight. This might be kind of comfortable. It's sort of a little bit makes me think of the Renaissance Fair, a little bit, <laughs> um, but we'll see how it fits when it's on. I really, really do like the sleeves though. I like the detail on them. I like that they're kind of flowy. We'll see how that goes. The next item in the box here is Fortune and Ivy, and I have like two or three Fortune and Ivy things, so I'm guessing that's why she included Fortune and Ivy. It's this dark green top. It's called the Helena Mixed Material Blouse in dark green, and it's $40. It has little rolled up sleeves, which I really like. I do that to my own sleeves, whether they do that or not. And it has these three little covered buttons and the color kind of makes me think of the Haunted Mansion. Like the outfits that they wear are this like dark green color and the Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite things. I wouldn't probably normally go for something quite so blousey, but the color makes me so happy to think of the Haunted Mansion. I might like it after all. This is really going pretty well. My last couple boxes, if you go back and watch them, didn't go as well. This one might be okay. It's not things that I would like initially think of and choose on my own, but they seem like they might be all right. We will see how they do. And last but not least, oh, this is super cute. I like this. It has these cute little sparkly, shiny feather details on them. And then the back has a little zipper that goes down the back. I'm pretty sure it's decorative. Oh, no, it zips. But I don't think you would want to leave it open because I think the collar would not fit right. So I think it's just really there for show. It's not for fit or anything like that. But this is called Paper Moon Larry Tie Sleeve Quilt Printed Blouse, and it is $44. It has little ties at the end and some elastic. Again, kind of like billowy and blousey. Like, a little renaissance fairy aside from the print but it seems like it's kind of like a sheer material if i hold it up over here you can kind of see but then when it's doubled up on itself it gets much darker so you probably have to wear something under it um or at least wear a like pretty nude colored bra so that it kind of seems like it's all the same color intentionally and not just see-through but we'll see how it is on so First impressions, we're doing pretty okay. I don't really like hate any of these items. I don't particularly like over the moon love any of them either though, but it's like pretty all right. We're doing okay. We'll see how they fit because if something fits, even if it's not like something I initially really would have chosen, if it fits really well, then I'm way more likely to keep it. It definitely will go up in the rankings for me if they fit well. So without any further ado, I'm gonna just go try these on and be right back. So here is that first top with the lace sleeves that I really, really was kind of hoping was gonna be great. It's like a little boxy, but it's super lightweight and flowy. The neck when I put it on feels kind of square, but I feel like you could like pull it because it has such an elastic-y top and wear it 
a little lower with leggings, like a boat neck top or something like that, or even like leave one up and leave one down. I think it could kind of go either way. It really is very flowy and shifty and breezy. So that's kind of nice if you wanted to just really relax. But that lace detail, I really do love. So let me get another one. So here's the dress. The sleeve has like this little tie detail with a button on both of the sleeves. The top of it, where the elastic comes in, is kind of billowy on purpose. And then it's like a pretty okay length. The side comes up a little more at the sides. It's so, so soft and it's really, really comfortable. I mean, the sleeve length is not my favorite thing. It's like, it's a little warm. But I think that if you know, you're just wanting to go to the grocery store and do errands, this is really kind of like a good around the house relaxing dress or just doing like your shopping and your errands. It's not really like a date night dress for me though, but it's pretty okay. And I think the price is right. So I don't know, tell me what you think, comment, let me know. Maybe I want to keep this. So here's the paper moon top. Um, I'm a little let down by it because the material is awful. It's really scratchy ratchy feeling underneath of every one of these little sparkles and the tie detail on the arms the arm itself like is pretty loose overall before the elastic is on there and that's extra scratchy too I really I was kind of having high hopes because I really love the print on this top but I really don't like the material so I'm not going to keep it so here are the fortune and ivy top along with those leggings that I think are supposed to really be jeans. They fit really nice. Um, they're really comfortable, but they have no pockets, which is kind of a letdown because I use pockets. I'm a pockets person, but they do, they do fit really nice. They're really comfortable. And the top, I like the color. It's a little more blousey than something I would normally wear, but I do like these little buttons. I think they're a cute detail. So I'm just really kind of into these like Haunted Mansion vibes I'm getting off of this shirt. Like even like the cut and style of it kind of makes me think of what you, you would see the people wearing at the Haunted Mansion. And like I also have the coordinating Loungefly Haunted Mansion Ghost Host bag. So what a look. They look great together. This is like a touch darker, but it's really close enough. So I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to this one because it would look really cute with my bag and I don't have anything that color, I can wear it to work. I'm gonna probably keep this top. And I have kept a few things from Fortune and Ivy, like I said in the past, so it's good that they included that, but I will say none of the brands I requested are in this box, just saying. I feel like the color palette was pretty good though, overall, like the gray, the kind of like taupey, uh, beige color, the navy with like the mustardy magentas, like those are all colors I would wear, the gray of the pants, and then this kind of like darker green, if it was a lighter green, it had to go. But I will say definitely everything in here aside from that scratchy scratchy top was pretty okay overall. I'm definitely not going to keep all of it, I'm probably going to keep this, I am not like sure if I want to keep this dress or not, it's like a good just you know day off doing stuff dress but it's not really like a date dress or like something that really kind of makes me think valentine's day i don't know none of these items really made me think of valentine's day i guess it depends who you are and what you would do but me on valentine's day we gotta wear pink you gotta wear pink and probably have sparkles that's just the kind of person i am though like other people i'm sure would probably go for something a little more subtle not me. <laughs> I like to dress up for holidays. I really think it's a lot of fun and that's just how I am as a person. So that's cool though. I don't feel like I got Valentine's Day out of this, but she definitely at least kind of paid attention to the colors. She included something with lace and I said I wanted lace and she included some florals and I said I wanted florals and then a couple of solid things as well. So at least she read it. I'm so happy she read it. They're like, okay. They're not my favorite. I will probably give it like a, whew, I don't even know. I don't want to give it a four. I think a four is maybe too generous, but maybe like a 3.8, like a solid B minus kind of sort of box. We're getting better though. There's been a steady improvement since my first stitch fix that I shared with you guys. 
the ones before that, before I ever tried to like record them before, oh, oh, it was bad. So we're definitely gone way up. So I'm really hoping that the next one is going to be like a four or a five for me because they're just getting better. If you think this one is better than my last couple of boxes, comment down below and tell me what you think. I definitely think so. And let me know which like your favorite piece in here is. Do I maybe want to keep this little like dress for just bumming around and doing stuff? I don't really know. It's really soft though. And let me show you guys actually. Let me show you that detail that I don't think you could probably see. It has this cute little button and it's got like a little gather on the end of the sleeves. Just thought I'd show you. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really makes my day if you would comment, like, or subscribe. And thank you all for being here. So until I have another box up, I'll see you all later. Bye!